Okay, okay. That's it! Yes! <laughs> hey there, friends! Did you see that? I made a small fire using nothing but this! You know how I did that? No, no, it's not magic. You see, kids, the sun's rays carry immense amount of energy called solar energy. For many years, scientists tried to capture solar energy and looked for ways to utilize it. Today, I'll tell you the story of one such scientist, Sun Queen Maria Telkis and her inventions that used solar energy. Zoom in! Maria was born in Budapest, Hungary in 1900. Maria's uncommon love for solar energy and her curiosity for its endless uses blossomed throughout high school. Maria went on a holiday to visit her cousin in the USA and ended up staying back to pursue her studies in the hope that soon, one day she will take on the world and start inventing devices using solar energy. Maria worked in various places and one fine day in 1939, she finally joined the Massachusetts Institute of Technology for the Solar Energy Project. This was a childhood dream come true. Maria initiated the workings on a big invention of storing solar energy to utilize it later in order to heat up a house. How amazing does that sound? In the midst of working on this invention, Maria learned that sailors and soldiers who were fighting in World War II were left stranded for days without any drinking water in the Pacific Ocean. She really felt for them and wanted to do something to help. She kept a great invention in the making on hold. After a great deal of thinking and working, she created a device that used solar energy to convert salt water to drinkable water. She named her design the Solar Still. The Solar Still was a lightweight and portable device. How awesome is that, kids? Maria helped the soldiers and sailors obtain drinkable water in the midst of an ocean. Maria resumed her experiments on storing solar energy and creating a solar-powered house heating system. Back in the day, heating up a house was a big task. It required a furnace that had to be fed with fuel which was a very expensive affair. This is when Sun Queen Maria found a magical salt called the Globus salt. This salt had a unique tendency of absorbing the sun's heat by melting and imparting the heat when frozen. This was a breakthrough moment for Maria as she was very close to her dream. But sadly, her superiors didn't allow her to build it as they thought it was not feasible. But don't you worry, friends. To her rescue came two angel ladies, Eleanor Raymond and Amelia Peabody. <laughs> Amelia financed the project and Eleanor helped design it. The house was built in the chilly weather of Dover which is where it got its name from, the Dover Solar House. Come, let me show you how this worked. The house was shaped like a wedge. Why a wedge, you ask? The slanted side of the house was filled with windows, through which sunlight entered. Because of its slant, there was nothing that would cast a shadow or block the sun. Sunlight passed through large glass windows that heated the air trapped behind the glass. The heat from the air then passed through metal sheets into another airspace. From there, 
fans move the hot air into storage compartments filled with the salt. This is where the salt worked its magic. The glob of salt melted which made it store the heat, making the house cooler. When the temperature dropped, the salt recrystallized and released the absorbed heat, making it warm and cozy. Dover Solar House was a boon for the people. It was there to stay. With her invention of the Dover Solar House, Maria was named the mother of the Solar House. You know what else would be amazing? Yes, your favorite trivia time! Solar energy is the most abundant form of energy found on Earth. It provides more than 10,000 times the world's total energy use. Unlike others, solar energy does not impart any harmful gas like material. This makes it best friends with the environment. Next time you need to cook or drink clean water, you know which energy to use, right? Tune in next time for another invention. This is me, zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell, so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.